Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create the sire text effect that you see in a lot of Jaden Smith's uh, cover arts, his merchandise and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's actually really simple, I haven't found a really really good tutorial on it so I thought I'd make it myself. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. With that being said, let's get straight into it. So we're in Photoshop right here. The first thing you wanna do is type in your text. So I'm gonna just type in Sire. I'm gonna make it bigger. As for the colors, you can use whatever colors, the same process. I'm just gonna follow the yellow, purple, blue um, gradient that they have going on. So we're gonna go for yellow right here. Once you're done that, you wanna press the 3D tab and you wanna press new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Basically the 3D workspace comes out. You'll see your um, whole thing change. And all you wanna do um, at the beginning is just move your mouse down, like click and move down so that you can sort of see the top um, just so it follows the original cover art. Next thing you wanna do is go to extrusion depth and increase it so you can see what that does. So I'm gonna increase it a bit. I'm just eyeballing it. Now what we wanna accomplish is we wanna turn like the 3D part into a gradient of blue and purple. So how we do this is we wanna press on scene right here. We're gonna press on surface. And for style, you wanna select unlit texture. And now the texture is set as the fuse. And basically we're gonna change this texture into a gradient. So how you do this is you go over to the third tab right here. You press on sire extrusion material or whatever your text is and you wanna change the diffuse material. So right now it's yellow, um, but what you wanna do is press on this folder icon, press new texture, and it'll make you create a new uh, texture and a new project. So right here, I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, we're not gonna really touch anything with this. Basically what we're gonna do is use the uh, gradient tool and we're gonna make a gradient. So if I right click on this, a bunch of these show up. Um, gradient tool, which is also the shortcut G, you can just press G, we're gonna press on it. And right here, I already um, put the gradient here. You basically just wanna double click, select pink, double click, select like a blue, something like that. And you wanna hold shift and drag down and it'll create a gradient. And there you see it loads a little bit and that's about it. The great thing about this is you can increase the depth even after you add the new texture. So you can mess around with the settings later on. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.